Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm playing against GM Arc. Aksharai Core. I'm assuming from the US based on the flag here. And it's playing knight c3 against the French. Let's go bishop b4 as usual. Aiming for the win hour. Check. Complex. I don't know how it's called queen g4, cd4, queen g7, the vinaver variation, maybe. I like to call it the poison pawn. And now b6 is the main move, trying to get bishop a6 in after bishop d3. And there are many ways for white to follow. He can go bishop b5 check, he can go a4. Um, yeah. He can go h4 sometimes. And here I'm not sure what's the best move actually. Maybe h6. I want to wait one move so that he plays bishop b3 and then I get bishop a6. Maybe bishop a6 immediately is also possible. Normally now they would give a check on, the, on b5 and go back. Okay, he's attacking my pawn. I'm defending. h6 is a useful move against bishop takes h7, sacrifice after I castle when the bishop is on d3. So for example, after bishop d b5, bishop d7, bishop d3, I can castle if I want. Now I really like this situation. If he gives a check, I will take and probably play a6 or something, or castle on rook c8. And now, yeah, castle. And I'm never sure. Normally they go queen d3 or queen e2, attacking my knight. And I'm never sure how to respond. I can bring the knight back to b8 and later to c6 or protect with the queen from b7. This is a good move, positionally speaking. But maybe not the best timing, because I think I can go here. And try to force him to take. Which looks like it helps to protect my knight here. I'm assuming I can go now with the queen to e2 or something. Now queen to b7 looks tempting. So, what can I do? Um, don't see anything else. So might as well just go for it. I'm a bit annoyed by c4 related ideas. But uh, there's nothing really I can do to prevent it. Maybe I can, I'll just take on c4 and then I have some b5. Uh, push okay so for the first time in a long time my clock situation is exciting I'm having more time I can go get some coffee stretch take a nap drink some water maybe And I still won't lose on time. <laughs> wow. Is this how my opponents feel? Well, they must be very patient to wait for me all the, all the time. Okay, knight a5 is allowed. He wants to take on c5, I'm assuming. So let's do the normal plan here of taking. Now b5 is kind of a threat. I'm quite surprised they allowed it. So I'm happy to play b5 and protect this pawn. Now all his pawns are weak. He needs to find some tactical justification, otherwise he will be much worse. Now he's threatening queen takes c4. Uh, I think I will just protect my queen. And the pawn, of course. Yeah, now knight takes c4 is a threat, so I have to move the queen away. You can also go knight d4. Now that I think about it, it's really, really unpleasant for him. Okay, looks really good. Queen c7 would have attacked this pawn as well. Also had some a5 related uh, ideas, but uh, this one I missed. But what's so good about it? If I just take, what does he even want? I'm threatening the, the rook, I'm threatening the bishop. Knight c4, knight a1, he can't even take back. So he wants the exchange. But I... Huh. <coughs> okay, that's quite deep. 
and I don't think it's really good also. Okay, let's take it. Now the main, main question is to take with the king or with the rook. The king looks more tempting. Rook a2. Rook knight ab4 followed by c3 is very interesting. Oh, but man, he has his queen takes before check. Okay. So this knight has to go back, I guess. Doesn't look too bad either. Let's put it here. I mean, my pawns are rolling really quickly. Rook g3 is his main uh, chance, but then I go g6. I don't see any big problems with my position. Feels like uh, much better. Just have to activate this knight quickly somehow. Queen g6 is a threat, but not such a big one. Take back requested. Okay, once a take back, I'll, I'll grant it to him. I'm take assuming you. Requested. I'm assuming. He wants to go to the, with the rook to g3. Let's try to help to accept. I don't want to. Okay. I offer this take back. Take back requested. I don't know. So. For some reason, he doesn't ask for the take back anymore. Let's just go rook b7. To. Prepare to meet queen g6 with king g8. And now he went for his regular plan. But my pieces are a bit more protected. Queen h4, king g7. Seems good for me. Knight e4. This is the main attacking attempt. Oh, also this one I missed. Okay, but I don't see a follow up. What does he want? Rook h5? No, oh, it's quite good. Uh, rook b7 was uh, probably not so smart. Okay, let's move one of my pieces somewhere. Rook h5 is really, really strong. Okay. I'll admit my mistake. I could have gone king h7, but admitting my mistake is not the worst thing I can do. And okay, now I want to bring the knight to the attack. I don't see much that I can do against it. Let's put the knight here. I have to take. Can I go king g7? Let's try it. We'll be safer at least for a bit. And now... He has some threats. c3, check, check. I don't see a mate, but... Hmm. Okay, I don't know. Let's hope for the best. He has perpetual, but of course I'm not afraid of perpetual check by this point. And he's probably gonna go for it because he's thinking for so long. I might avoid it just to win on time. Okay, queen h6 is a threat, but not such a big one. Okay, I'll allow it. No. Check. Now rook c1. This is the move I expect to see. And b4, check, 98 at the end. Shouldn't be too bad for me. At least I don't see an immediate win. b3 is coming. He's preventing it for one more move. No queen c4. It looks really good for me actually. So all of a sudden. Okay. He has some big threats. Okay, Hi, morning. Trying to prevent it. For one more move. Being a little bit sneaky. Now this. 
White forfeits on time. And actually, his position is not so bad now because he has queen a8. Oh, but then king f8 is easy. Okay. Not the most convincing of wins, but uh, the time is a big factor in blitz. So let's see what happened. So we played more or less the main moves. Yeah, now this is a very logical position that we got. But I'm not sure if queen c7 is so strong. Looks logical to me. And then uh, bishop a6 takes, takes. I should castle as well. Let's wait for a second, see if my uh, engine works. For some reason it's stuck. I don't know. It doesn't seem to work very well. Okay, now it's back again. So refuses to work in this position but castles is good for me b a5 really okay rook fc8 is the most natural way to try to exploit it yeah and then knight back to b8 and so on yeah okay knight c6 felt logical and this allows b5 with, with a better position for black and now rook fd8 this is very smart actually it's a much more uh, uh, sophisticated way to prevent queen c4 so let me demonstrate so if he wants to take uh, after rook fd8 queen c4 i have rook d1 check. check forcing rook takes d1 and then i have b takes c4 so this is really bad for white and here knight d4 is coming even more powerfully so still this is much better for black and uh yeah should be very close to winning here but somehow I managed to ruin it. C3 to cut the rook away and then knight d5 is much more precise. And now rook g3 is equal. This is a mistake. And he asked for a take back. I tried to accept it but didn't manage to do so. I don't know how. Maybe there is a command probably. Feel free to write in the comments if you know what's the command to grant him his take back. I played instead uh, rook b7 against queen g6 but... Maybe I should have just went knight b4 or c3. Now knight e4. Hmm. So knight a b4 with the idea to meet knight e4 with knight d3. Attacking e5. Okay. I was a little bit afraid of queen g6. Followed by queen h7. But for the computer nothing is scary. Just take on e5 and uh, everything is protected. The queen is not doing anything here. <laughs> yeah. Didn't uh, predict this would be the the way so I played rook b7 then suddenly rook g3 was annoying knight e4 is even stronger with what threat let's say I just go b4 he wants knight d6 exactly knight c5 knight d6 king g8 is a nice double exchange sack and the position remains very complex so we went rook g3 now f5 gives me the advantage once again this grants him the advantage after a very strong queen g5 and now ah, actually knight e7 knight f5 was strong or knight e7 knight g8 like, to be to be precise yeah knight f5 is bad there's g4 so there's queen f6 mate actually yeah let me just demonstrate here knight f5 allows mate in two sorry okay j8 so instead I should have gone knight, H8, knight g8 there. Okay, rook b8, and then rook h8. Seems to hold on for a few more moves. But had he given a check and then knight d4, would have been easier. Also here, he allowed me some luxuries. Check. And here, rook d1 is the key. Threatening knight f6, and after e f6, there's rook d8 coming. Yeah. Probably also rook takes d5 is a big threat in that position. So, the yeah, queen h6 is more precise, I kept allowing it, and he kept uh, not doing, uh, he didn't do it, yeah, now, I was expecting him to give this perpetual, queen h7, here, knight g8, and to repeat the position, in the time situation, but instead he chose to go here, tried to mate me, but, this is not mate, because I have knight e8, 
and uh, yeah, now suddenly he's lost. Here, actually, yeah, after playing this queen c4 move, I realized I could have gone queen d5, threatening queen d1, and if queen f3 like in the game, I can just take and b3 and I'm winning. So, this is a bit of a mistake on my part, but still, here b3, queen a8, I didn't see king f8 was possible. Also queen b5, actually. Yeah, and this move allows queen b3. Yeah, and then suddenly I'm winning again. Okay, interesting game. I hope you enjoyed watching it and learned something from this experience. And uh, if you want to learn some more, then uh, keep watching the next videos.